Hello everyone and welcome to Metro Exodus, brand new let's play on the channel that I'm super excited to jump into. We are continuing our Metro series, having most recently completed Last Light. And let me tell you, I've been having an absolute blast. Really, really enjoyed playing 2033 and Last Light, the, uh, the Redux editions of that one. And we are now jumping in with this really cool, exhilarating menu music for uh, for Metro Exodus. Uh, now, this game, a bit more of a recent release than the uh, than the previous two games. This one came out in, in 2019, so I'm really uh, excited and interested to see the, the jump in quality between them, because I believe uh, 2033 and, and Last Light, they initially came out for that, uh, not the previous generation of consoles, but the generation before it, and then got those Redux editions uh, for the previous generation. But now we're playing, we're playing the in the big leagues, baby. Now we are playing on, uh, we are playing on PC for Metro Exodus. Uh, I did play the console editions of the previous games purely because I owned them on console. I, I think they were either games with gold at one point on Xbox, or they were uh, significantly reduced on sale, um, and that's how I acquired those. But uh, since starting those and playing through them, there's been uh, uh, many people that have voiced more of a sort of desire and uh, favoring the, the PC versions of the game. You know, you can increase the field of view and all that sort of lovely stuff. Uh, so we're playing on PC because there were the recent Steam sale significantly reduced the whole Metro, Metro saga. So this is the Metro Enhanced Edition for for pc so it should come with absolutely everything uh i'm not sure how the i'm not sure on the controls yet so we'll figure that out as we as we jump in i have had a look at some of the some of the settings um in this one i'm not a huge motion blur fan so i've just turned that one down i'm also not even sure what hair works even is or advanced physics so I haven't messed with anything. I'm not sure what the max field of view is, but I'm tempted to kind of have max field of view. I'm not sure, but we've got a couple of things on on Ultra and uh, we'll see how we go. Something that surprised me, um, and then when I change the settings, it's gonna disappear for a bit. Uh, something that kind of surprised me about this game in terms of accessibility is it is full screen and it's locked to full screen doesn't have borderless doesn't have windowed mode which i felt was really strange very archaic old school uh pc games just lock you into one screen which is uh a little bit of a hassle when you also need to record gameplay and maybe adjust some obs settings at the same time but we will grin and bear it i'm no stranger to that because i've played a lot of older games on the channel uh but at this point i'm di i digress let's start a let's start a new game um, and it looks like we've got reader difficulty. Let's play on, <laughs> let's play on reader difficulty. Uh, for those that may have not tuned into the channel, if you're new here, uh, I played 2033 and Last Light on the hardcore difficulties. I think I played them on the, the, the Ranger ones. And there was also the, uh, the added, I think it was like Ranger or Spartan or something like that options. We played the original intended experiences, which were focused on more like survival elements. Um, and um, my, my dog is here to come and say hello while I'm in the middle of recording. Hello there, buddy. This is Logan. <laughs> it's just, just popped up for a little bit. This is Logan. Logan will be joining me today as my, as my dog companion, apparently. Can you get down, please? Thank you, buddy. Um, so we're going to be playing on, we're going to be playing on hardcore, uh, for this one as well. Probably not ranger hardcore, but I'm just going to drop it down to, to hardcore. Uh, every encounter presents a serious challenge to your skill and tactics. Ammo and resources must be jealously guarded. Success cannot be guaranteed. Um, however, um, what we, what I have, what I have done is we've gone into the settings to remove crosshair, remove hints, that sort of, that sort of stuff. Um, and remove hit markers. So I'm still scaling back on those HUD elements um, because we did the same thing in the previous two games as well. And I really do like, I really do like the uh, the immersive elements um, of of Metro, stripping away that HUD. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there 
on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. That cursed sound. <laughs> but I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. What an intro, that's so cool. That was awesome. I really liked just that, just using the, the Metro as the literal timeline of events. Like just being an observer out of the window. That was beautiful. Nice. Oh, throws me right in. Let's go. So with them saying 7 billion, they're talking about the whole world. Wonder what it's like in America. Metro and Fallout crossover when? They're set in the same universe. Where's my uh, Australian... 
post-apocalyptic setting. I need to know what it's like down there. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. All right, I'm in, baby. Okay. Let's have a look. I gotta get a. I gotta get a feel for. I gotta get a feel for this. So this is gonna be my first time uh, for mouse, mouse and keyboard for the for the Metro games because I was playing on controller before. Photo mode. Oh yes, dude. Oh yes. So let's make that field of view huge. <laughs> <laughs> for my for my arms cool so the camera oh there is a camera mode no ah oh, we can't like um be nice if we could do free camera i want to see my my character to pull it out okay um let me have a look at controls i feel like it should just be the really standard ones Crouch toggle is Z, apparently. Mm. Run toggle, sprint toggle, mouse three and four. Weapons are one, two, and three. We get three weapons. Ooh, next weapon and previous weapon with those buttons. I don't like that. Fire, aim, pretty standard. Reload, throwing secondary is E, melee with V probably get used to that I suppose use with E holster inventory okay some of these are some pretty standard mouse and keyboard options which is good inventory for the backpack swap filter with T light charge with F uh, so I, I it's gonna be it's gonna be a learning adjustment at least for for some of these so um, you'll have to bear with me um, there's a problem with OneDrive servers, so apparently that's worth kicking me out of the game. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is this is the problem. This is going to be the problem with uh, Metro, by the way, is because it's locked into full screen and there's no window to borderless mode. If any windows pop up, you are it minimizes the game. So that's not really my fault. That's just kind of uh, the game's fault. So we just gotta we just gotta roll with the punches. That is way too sensitive. You never know how sensitive the sensitivity is in these games. That's a that's a little bit better for me. Okay. The genuine first time experience. I need to look at the settings in terms of controls. Um, I think the subtitle size was decent. I think that was pretty good. Okay. So we've just got this one weapon flashlight with F, the lighter with L. Can check our bag by holding I. All right. Oh, actually, what was the swapping fit? What's how do I swap my filter? Uh, let me see. Um, that would have been inventory, right? So swap filter with T. Okay. I'm going to need to commit that one to memory. Like right now. Oh, okay. I'm suffocating. I'm suffocating. Um, anyone got any, get any filters? My, I'm literally out. Why, why is, why is Artyom in the worst possibly prepared scenario of all time? He go, he's gone to the surface with no filters and a broken gas mask. I should be suffocating. But apparently I'm good, which is very strange. How do I do my immersion button? How do I, <laughs> how do I wipe my face? Is there a, uh, do I have the button to, to wipe my, uh, my mask? What was the, what was the wipe my, your face button? in um what was the wipe your face button yeah on the controller it was lb can't remember what that was i want to wipe my face guys that's 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 my immersion simulator when i'm like ah get this stuff off my face <laughs> very interesting like it's it's like it looks so good 
And then hearing all those very familiar sound effects is, is so funny as well. I'm just like, ah, oh, it's so comfortable yet so new at the, at the same time. Oh, you can upgrade your weapons on the fly? Instead of having to do it at a shop, you just find like an extended clip and off you go. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> Apparently, I guess we must be in like an introductory segment where our gas mask timing does not matter, which is really strange. Oh, get off of my face. Oh, oh, um, it's on my arm. Mm, mm, get off. Get off. Get off, mate. Who's laughing? It's not funny. Damn, this looks really good. Oh, this is interesting. When you try to aim when you're like real close to a wall, it like, it won't let you, obviously. Oh, the alarm bell's ringing. People are in trouble. Don't worry. I'm suffocating, but I'll help. I guess that's our autosave thing there. Oh, Jesus. Tap E to win. Yo. <laughs> Hello, first encounter. Oh. Does that Oh, I think the I'm looking at my I'm looking at my recording and that does not look smooth in the recording at all. Uh for for my game, this looks perfect. Like, it's, I'm not having any frame rate drops at all. But in the game, I'm looking at my... I, I'm checking it in the OBS recorder window. It looks a bit choppy. I might have to change or play around with some settings if that's not looking good, because the last thing I want is a choppy video. Uh, for me, in the in the in the gameplay itself, uh, it's it's genuinely fine. Like I'm having no issues. Um, I wonder if this might be a a PC enhanced edition issue. Let me just have a look and I will check. Okay, I think I've fixed uh, the issue with this one, so we should be we should be good to go. Uh, it looked very humorous seeing me. Uh, glitch all over the all over the screen uh, i've i've dropped some settings and i think i've had to tinker around with some of the encoding settings for obs as well so uh it seems that an enhanced edition of a pc game is demanding on your pc who would have guessed um so i have dropped some things down so it, instead of having everything on ultra which i think when i'm recording a game and outputting at 1080p anyway like it's it's probably not like really necessary um we've got I've taken like ray tracing down to normal. I'm focusing on performance because I think this was set to quality, which was a mistake. Um, and I've turned off tessellation and uh, turning that stuff off and changing some OBS issues has allowed me to to move um, on on the screen, which is nice. And there's smooth movement, so I think I think we're good. And at least from what I can see, I think everything is still looking quite good. Oh, is this the, are these the journals? God, they blend into the environment. Like that just looks like a part of, like an asset in the environment. It doesn't stand out like they used to in Redux. Uh, journal? What was the journal? It's not J. What was the journal hotkey? M for Mernal. Majernal? Perfect. M for Majernal. No, doesn't want to open. Okay. I guess I'll just go into collectibles. Okay, collectibles, diary and postcard. Okay. 
half torn notebook. Oh, it's different. We're finding collectibles in the form of other people's notes. So it's not our diary anymore like it was in the Redux editions. We're finding other people's writings. August 11th, we've arrived. So far, so good. Just a couple of rats. The guys are unloading the trolley. August 12th, not enough people to cover the old roadblocks. Collier went to get some. More volunteers, uh, went to get some more volunteers. But for now, we'll just cover the platform and the airlock. Looks like... Mikhailich isn't going to finish the repairs anytime soon. The mechanism is rusted solid. August 13. Shot a couple of watchmen. The beasts got inside unnoticed under the steps, cunning fuckers. The airlock drive is dead. Mikhailich says he can't promise anything. We're running short on filters. Time to improvise, I guess. We'll just weld the gate shut with a sheet of steel and think later. August 14th. There's a stampede of watchmen up there. They haven't attacked yet, but still. Kolya brought the welding apparatus, but we can't even start the work. As soon as we make a slightest noise, they'll start howling up there. For now, we decided on setting up some traps. Okay, so we're going to be getting into the minds of um, uh, other uh, other metro inhabitants, it seems, instead of um, Artyom. And now I have to look at every book and be like, is that a book that I can <laughs> I can pick up and read? Because they, they blend into their environment so well. Come on. Bop! Okay, hopefully everything is going to be smooth from here on out. And, and from a recording perspective, we don't have any weird, like, performance issues. That's my dream. Botanical Garden Station, August 14th. Don't you have anything better to do than mess with that thing, Mikhailich? Oh, am I bothering you? We can't do anything without the welding burner, and this way, I can at least make a record. Ha! Did you hear that? Of course I did. I'm about to go deaf from their howling. Why do you want them recorded? I heard the police people are studying these migration patterns and whatnot. So, they are buying records and stuff, but they had to be taken properly with date and place and all the... Oh, hell, get the date and place correct this time. They'll read it on your gravestone. Forget this thing. I took my gas mask off and now it won't put it back on. Damn, did he just. Did he just end it at the end there? Before he could get eaten by a by a watchman? Wild. Okay. Gas mask is with G. I've taken it off, and now the game will not let me put it back on. <laughs> I guess because I don't have a filter. Um, because I don't have a filter, I can't put the gas mask back on. That's fine. So Archim's just invincible right now. Um, what's the how, what's the charging my what, what's my my uh, my charging? Hold F for, to charge. Oh, won't let me do that over either. Okay, so we've got subtitles that translate the writing on the wall, which is great. So we will survive. Artyom's just like built different now. We've, we've gone through, uh, we've gone through so much that we just like, we've actually become immune to the, to the air, the radiation on the, on the surface. So I, I don't need a gas mask anymore. Again, we'll, we'll smooth all of these issues out, and I'm just learning things from from the from the from the get go. Um, that's part of the genuine blind experience. So just bear with me. I died in I died in one hit. <laughs> I, I, I died in one hit. Wow. I got uh, I got knocked the hell out.
Let's try, let's try and survive, shall we? Yeah, just teething issues at the start. Look at that big jump. Okay. So apparently I'm one hit away from death. According to that attack. Oh, that's a stampede of watchmen. I'll obviously be trying my best to uh, get everything that I can as well. Uh, but, oh, but, you know, we'll see how we go. I'm not in good condition. I'm bleeding from my forehead. Oh! Classic Artyom. Always getting himself in the worst position possible. Look at him go! Oh my god. Oh, that's my knife. That's my knife, you bastard. Roger! We'll get you out. Whoa, it's Artyom. Artyom? Give me my knife back. Artyom, what the hell? He's hurt. Come on, Artyom, stay with us. Classic Artyom, always needing to be saved when we just throw ourselves in a crazy position. <laughs> Look, it's the hero. Move. It's night time at this station. Don't worry, I told the doctors, I, I got it, I got it, open up! Go! Can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs! Oh, this is a great way to, to do an introduction. Uh, looks like Artyom's been on another one of his mad trips up top. He got hey, hey, do any explosions at D6. Where to now? Left, across the square! Hey, Demir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. I spoke. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself ah. with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. Ah. Yeah, how right. else can he hope and to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Nice. Cool intro. Sorry that I messed it up a little bit. <laughs> A uh, little bit of uh, adjustment period on the keyboard here and some technical difficulties. Classic Artyom. My wife? Artyom. <gasps> My wife! Are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? Damn, she looks good. There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. <gasps> Miller's got prosthetic legs. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours, but don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. My wife? She's my wife in real life and in the Your game. Is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else, and the Order is here to defend it, because if not us, then who? Dude. You look fine to me, so get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. My wife! Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but 
People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Pavel, is that Let you? Let me put it this way. I can promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. All right. Pa Pavel became the, the doctor in the Metro, confirmed. Pavel? All right. We need, a, we need a talk. Dude, the character models look so good. Anna looks so good. Uh, and Miller, because he lost his legs in Last Light, man's rocking prosthetic legs like a boss. He looks so good too. How, um... How long has it been? Because he's grayer than he was before. He was like more of a darker gray. He's, he's embracing his uh, Gandalf the Gray era. He's got the the light the light white hair. He went from Gandalf the Gray to Gandalf the White. He has returned with mechanical legs to conquer the Metro. I just that's so cool. I love that he's like my daughter, your wife. Oh, we're a big happy family in the game. I love it. This is a, a, an incredible intro. That's, that's so cool. So Artyom's doing his silly little excursions to the surface because he is like, he's chasing for, for that hope for the, for the, for the dark ones that, that left because they're, they're, they survived and they, they left and that's how Last Light ended. And Artyom is like, I've, I've seen this. The One Piece is real. I've got to go and, you know, find hope on the surface for, for all of humanity. And everyone's like, damn that crazy Artyom guy. This is, this is so cool. Still, lucky to spark That's amazing. Okay. Artyom here just in time. Metro 2035, which I believe is the book the that this game uh, is based on now. So we have Last Light be 2034 and then Exodus based on 2035. So, so I guess it's only, it's only been a year since last light again we're just in the next year and miller's graying a little bit okay so it looks like all the journal entries might look the same they might look like this specific book so i need to commit this specific book to memory my key bindings are not working because it says the journal is activated with m unless the journal is the, the maybe that the the my little clipboard instead so I think I don't have a diary hotkey, which I guess makes sense. Artyom Chionij, born 31st of the 3rd, 2009. Cool. So Artyom is um, 2035. He's 26 years old. God, he's, he's only one year younger than me. Blood type, AB. IV, RH+, plus. admitted on, come on, it's the third time. Diagnosis, radiation, sickness relapse, light form, approx dose 1 to 1.5 GY, prognosis, favorable. Blood transfusion of 0.5 K, three a week, Kali, Iodium, P slash O, don't know what any of this doctor speak means, bed rest, no going to the surface for a year at least. A whole year? That's not happening. There ain't no way you're banning Artyom from the surface for a year. No, sir. Damn, so many details on here. Fart is in. If you do be farting. That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. Little bit sad that we're still in, we're in the third game and the roaming conversations with NPCs are not subtitled. So you, it's, God damn it. I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this, but who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. It's something that will save us. I don't know. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. 
Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah, well. It's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station, or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. So it seems that we're in a situation where it's like a lot of people are sort of relegating themselves to accepting their life uh, down below and being like, can you can you stop going on the surface? You're endangering everybody. You keep coming back. We need to keep giving you blood. It's in limited supply. You're irradiated. Stop being a, a silly little guy. And we're like, no, I am in pursuit of hope sure and dreams. Endangering themselves for like this. But who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. Something that will <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I, I believe you. <coughs> will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? She looks like she hates me. So, Artyom, yep. stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I, don't think I can't even does. sleep since you told him all those silly crying. stories. Yes. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. Damn, Artyom is not in favor of, of many people right now, despite being a hero of the Metro on two occasions. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, then. Oh, it's a postcard. Nice. Artyom this, Artyom that. Postcard one. Okay, so we can see them. Is there anything else? We just see the front of it. Moscow. I never know if entering an environment is going to cut out on the dialogue, so that's why I'm just being a peeping Tom right now before I enter the room. Because then it looks like they'll cut off their conversation and be like, Ah, Artyom, you crazy bastard. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a sneak, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see you're all right. This calls me... Few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Wow. Which, Alyosha, how you are you using the hospital, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? Previat, Artyom. You're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. So many unique facial models. It looks so good. Everyone looks amazing. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. Okay, so the, the, the boys love me. 
It's just the civilians that hate me for being crazy. But the boys, I got their respect. I got a wife. I got I got my friends. I got a crazy father-in-law with prosthetic badass legs. One week later, I'm back on the surface. <laughs> He's not allowed to be there for a year. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. And one of those. Uh, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. Okay, so we're still a silent protagonist, but obviously the game makes a lot of references to... The game makes a lot of references about our character telling them stories or talking about stuff, and obviously it's all off screen. <laughs> and the, the intro is still his voice, but I was wondering if we were actually... When they were talking about uh, Artyom talking about things, I was like, I wonder if we're going to talk. Still silent, so that must be an interesting relationship with Anna. She's like, it's like talking to a brick wall. <laughs> Um, what a dream. I, I just, that's what you need when you're in, uh, the apocalypse is you need a badass sniper support wife who is also, you know, very level headed. We took our time, time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? All right, let's get moving. Dude, I love the look of this gun. This is crazy cool. All right, I know I can't spend too much time on the surface because gas mask and whatnot, but I just want to look at all the details. I went up with you twice if you learned we've been to a Hansa off limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Dude, these environments look really, really good. Look at the detailing on all of the stuff on the wall. Oh, that's my postcard. Nice. Yeah, a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Nice. Okay, so I can press tab. Uh, to check like the last okay so tab is I think the the button to press to check the most recent thing that you've put in your inventory so if I pick up any journal entries that's the button I'll press correct tab is the button dusty diary July 6th 2013 too late Shura went to buy food I was going to roll the chair onto the balcony to have some fresh air when the civil defense broadcast started crowds outside everyone's running somewhere Missiles are flying. Flashes! Blinded me even with the curtains down. I still see green spots everywhere. I hope Shura made it to the metro. I thought I was done for, but it looks like I still have some time. It's night, and the streets are empty and silent. Just sirens blaring everywhere, and there's this green fog everywhere, and it's fluorescent. Or is it just my eyes? Phone's dead. Radio too. Shura. Shura, my dear. I pray you're all right. Don't feel good. Very weak. Goodbye, Shura. Damn. Mans did not make it out. This is a gorgeous game right off the bat. And I uh, something that I really find very funny about, uh, not really funny, but humorous about games like this, uh, post-apocalyptic games like like this and, and 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 Last of Us and all that kind of stuff, is it's it's all desolate, it's all destroyed, everything's a mess. But you look at the environments and the detail of it, and you're like, wow, it's beautiful in a sense. Like the way that it just like visually looks is like so impressive. There is beauty in destruction. Yeah, this looks great. Classic first person moment. Shimmy through tight space. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Hmm. 
Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Okay. Is it like a... I do. I have a quick save and a quick load. What was that again? It was... Uh... Oops, hold on. Miscellaneous. Quick save and quick load. All right, F5 to give me a quick save. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? How do I check my gas mask without changing my filter? Because backpack didn't show up when I did that. I can check the time with Y. I think the time is how much time I've got left on the filter, so I've got 47 seconds. Did you hear that? Oh, gotta pr gotta protect my wife. Oh, you know what? You are more capable than me, probably. Did they get you? No. Good. They probably heard us coming down from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Nice. The charger does work. Oh, nope. Some journals are different. That was a light blue book. Some are different. Tolik, if you find that bookstore, look for these. Radio Amateur's Guide, 1970. Radio for Teenagers, 1979. Build Your Own Radio, 1955. How to Build a Detector Receiver, 1950. Radio Reception, Simple AM Receivers, 1967. Radio in the Rural Areas, 1963. And Radio in the Field, 1964. You don't need anything fancier. There are no components anyway, so we'll have to build it from the pencil leads and empty tins. A copy of Metro 2035. Oh. Ah, yes, the books. They glitch through the bottom of the shelf. <laughs> Glitchy books. A sight to behold. Okay. Oh, there's so many cool things to look at. I'm like, I know that I need to focus on following... My wife. It's cool. Sure. Ah, oh, sure as note. Vegetable oil, one liter. Clava from the main office, my ring. Sugar, two kilograms. Rosa Alexandra Nova, 253 to 18. Silverware, buckwheat, four kilograms. Margarita Seminova, my earrings, and Collier's coin collection. I wonder if this is, well, it seems like it's kind of, it's not a shopping list. Oh, it's what she traded. So for her to get, supplies she had to trade her ring she had to trade silverware and had to trade her earrings and Collier's coin collection which means I think that that's sort of confirmation in the note that Shura survives but she also had to trade away like personal items just to make ends meet a draw we're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us hmm huh. The Watchman and the Nozalis. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. That one was like right in my face. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. 
That was a large pack. Yeah, for some reason they just decided to blatantly ignore me. Is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Oh. I'm full of ammo. Oh, if I just press, if I hold tab, I can see my, my time limit on my filters. Cool. I can see my total time. Come on, dear. Give me a boost. Shit. Come up now. God, weather changes fast. I got you. God, love how quickly it rolls in. What are we looking at? Whoa! Wait, what? A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? What? Do we just witness a collective hallucination? Ghost train? I mean, we've we've had hallucinations on the surface before. Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train too! Let's join them! Oh, it's a real train! Like, the only the only, the only reason there's part of me that's like, did we just hallucinate a train is, remember when we were on the surface with Pavel and we were going through the crashed helicopter and we were like having all the flashes and hallucinations of like the, the plane crashing and all of that. I was like, are we seeing like one of those like ghostly memories of the surface? But I, that might have been a real train, which is really crazy. How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We're sure did. Come on, get in. It's a real train. What are the implications of this? Oh. Were they not our guys? You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, huh? anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. Dude! Oh, that's exciting. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, yeah. we'll tell the whole metro about this. Wow. Humans, persistent creatures, aren't they? We're little cockroaches. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. Yep, execution. It's fine, Honor. I'll punch the dog, unfortunately. It's not fine, I just got shot in the head. Fool, he could have lived. Let's go. What the fuck?
Holy crap, dude. How many people, how many people have they been driving out to the same spot to do this to? They just pick, the Hans are just picking up survivors and then like killing them off. Is that why we're not discovering people on the surface? Because there's like roaming patrols that are actually picking up stragglers and then dealing with them? Crap. So there are survivors on the surface. The weirdest part about that was we're in a car, we're on the surface, right? You need a gas mask and that old woman be breathing just fine. She was just chilling. And so was that guy. Like they were just not even struggling to breathe whatsoever. I wonder if that is like insinuating that these people that have, are in this village or people that are much further out are more acclimatized to the air up here maybe? They've like maybe been able to adapt or they're just kind of, it's sort of like a, just a, a little tiny oversight that right now they might be struggling to breathe but they're not showing it. I don't know. But they didn't have gas masks for that whole trip. So neither did Anna, neither did I. And we, we seem to be fine. But then when it gets back to gameplay, we're all like, we're struggling to breathe again. So I'm not, not sure. But it looks like I've lost all my gear. We've been in worse scenarios, haven't we, Artyom? We're a persistent guy. We will, we will survive. And here's my convenient first aid kit right here. Thank you. Give me my cheese slice. My cheese slice ration. Okay. Um, now the what was the what was our healing? Um, med kit with Q. Gotcha. I find it great that like it's like there's survivors on the surface. Like, why wouldn't there be? I hear this train, dude. This is some crazy developments on the surface. Oh, lost, lost my wife. Whoa! Wait, the Reds? I see the star. Do the Reds acquire a train uh, and manage to get it out on the surface? Because the Reds were building their siege tram of doom in Last Light and used that to ram into D6. Time for stealth. I'm assuming this game will also have its same sort of morale system. With the, with the good and the bad. And the killing and the non-killing. So we'll see uh, how we how we operate. I've got no flashlight. Damn, watchman broke through. Damn. I'm just a just a rat sneaking through at the moment. Ooh, can I punch? I got my fisty cuffs out. Should send the oh shit. To seal the exit. And Attention! The turntable is switching off. Dude, this is so insane. What a strong start. Rules. Rules? What rules? You're shooting people like dogs! You... 
Don't push your luck, old timer. They aren't people. They're spies sent here. Mmm. Be with you. You're whining, you old fuck. Go straight for the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen. If you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Animals. How can they? What can I do? Hello, I am Atium. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Watchmen! A human? How did you? Oh, oh my God! It's you. She's been screaming about. Anna's here. Cool. Alive. You came for her. All right. Damn. The faces look really, really good. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Okay. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break at this save, and then we will resume. All right, let's proceed. You better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Don't rush. Move crouched. It's quieter that way. See that ladder? Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? You mark giving us our stealth tutorial. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Simon Mikhailich, there's a failure at the generators. You should see it. Mikhailich. Yeah, he's to tell me what I should do. Better fix this line here. Everything is under control. Oh! You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? Under control. Uh, yes. Hang on. Um, the interact button. I believe is the same one as the the takedown, the non-lethal takedown, and then melee is V. Gotcha. So an actual melee is V, which we'll try and not really use. But E should be the silent takedown. Yeah. Ah, your mark. Time to fit that pine jacket, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Ah, oh, ah, oh, nice. I was like looking around for something. Ah, uh, throwables. I, I was. I would assume. I'm sorry that I have to keep checking this, but like you, you, you need to understand. Don't know the controls yet. <laughs> uh, grenade is G. Uh, or do I just, is there, is there not a, what would be the button for that? Uh, you'd think weapons, fire and aim, reload, oh, throw secondary, C. Okay. Distracting. Well done. Okay, C. Let's go, come. Oh, 
Okay, you do it then. Hey! Go through, hey! come on. Hey! This system supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. An engineer should look at it. I will, of course, do it again, but uh, I, I'm not much of a fighter, as you could guess. Good luck to you. Nice. He helped us out. That's a good, that's a good boy right there. I just went to press C to crouch and I lost one of my throwables. Can I pick it up after I've uh, thrown it? Of course not. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You two would get some lashes and be given back to Miller. Why did that idiot have to stick his nose into this, huh? You'd better shut up if you don't want a bullet too. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Throw me at you! Alas! You fucker! Nice. God fucking damn. Dion! Oh my god! You're alive! Alive! Are you hurt? Hunter's badge? It stopped the bullet! Oh! Oh! She, she just got the she just got the chair! Oh fuck. Oh. Don't move. He's gonna press he's gonna He's, he's gonna press the button. War. One death won't be enough for you now, you imbeciles. This is the universal broadband radio jammer. What? It stops Moscow from hearing anyone, and them from hearing us. Shit. This fucking sucks. Do you hear that, Artyom? Whoa. You were right all along. Do you see? That is massive. It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my god. What for? Because the war is still going on. And you behave like fucking kids. All the guards will be here soon. Damn. Don't shoot. That is, dude, that is just, that is massive. Oh, we missed a note. Damn it. That is, that is massive. It's the whole world. A universal broadband radio jammer. They've been, we've had communications jammed this whole time from the get-go like oh wow and i was right so like these people have been like going out and picking up people that have been coming in from elsewhere looking for survivors and just being taken out and just getting shot dead in a ditch just to, to silence them which is really crazy even people that are in like local vicinity it's like nah because everyone's in they're in such a desperate state of needing to survive and not having enough to share with people while also still having, it seems to still have that mentality of being at war with the whole world. There are a lot more survivors than we thought. And there are also habitable areas on the surface. This is, this blows the, the lid off of the previous two games and what it's established in such a massive way. And I love it. Uh, outgoing top secret, Lieutenant 
Colonel Rileve, Head of Supply Department. In reply to your request from 23rd of the 3rd, I can report that the number of personnel at the external perimeter's radio jamming station is, as of 1st of the 2nd, 4,786 people, 3,857 of which number are special guard detail personnel to be supplied with extra means of individual protection, 723 are maintenance workers, and 206 are command personnel. Deputy Head of the Special Department, Major Stroin. I have missed a note. Unfortunately. With him. With you. You have to Can't go back here. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, so I thought that was going to be an alarm thing that we shot, but it is much, much worse. Wow. Sorry, is there, is there something urgent happening right now? I'm too busy taking in the details. <laughs> they just left it sitting there. Nice, old faithful. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. Your max a real one. Who are you? I'm trying to follow you, Mac, the train engineer. Run now. Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. The train engineer. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. A vision from the Dark Ones? Hey. He had a vision? I wonder. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. This is really interesting. This game has communicated so many things that Metro 2033 and Last Light just did not give to you at all, which is really funny. So I'm almost assuming that from a development standpoint, they were like, okay, so there's probably a lot of people that haven't played uh, the previous two games, and this might be a jumping in point for a lot of people that are new to the series. So they actually vocally, through dialogue, establish those points of the visibility gauge and the watch and, you know, all of that kind of stuff that I didn't even figure out or was not even aware of until late into Last Light. Just things that totally, like, I didn't even didn't even click with me. There are some things that you were able to easily figure out and other things that just did not at all uh, click with me. So it's really, uh, it's, it's, it is good. And, uh, but at the same time, it's immersion breaking. And I feel like that might be a valid criticism and it's hard because you have to tackle uh, the, the game's own internal continuity with the fact that with there's two games before this, Artyom has done this before, like a lot. Like Artyom is smart. He's aware of this stuff, you know. He knows about his visibility gauge. Or you know what? Maybe maybe that's why they're saying it in Metro Exodus. Uh, Artyom actually went through the whole previous games never being told about it. He never knew about it. This is his first time actually going, oh, so that, well, that's what that's for. <laughs> so maybe that's the internal continuity there. Um, but I guess, you know, from a standpoint of development, you have to be like, well, these people are going to pick it up for the first time. We probably have to communicate some factors of the gameplays, you know, UI that uh, and the, game, the in, uh, immersion UI, like the stuff that's not actually like on screen, but it's on the character. Um, so it's, it's I guess it's quite a funny thing to for them to have to wrestle with uh, in, in a sense. But all this does is establish that Anna either thinks Artyom uh, has no idea what he's been doing this whole time <laughs> with his equipment, or he thinks he's or she thinks he's stupid, or Artyom just genuinely never knew that he had a light meter this whole time. <laughs> but uh, oh, am I not going up? Am I, I only okay? Only you're going up. We're we're splitting up. I I I keep. I keep pretty pressing uh I keep pressing C to throw it. Good thing is you can actually pick them up again. I just could I guess I couldn't pick that other one up because it was in the vent. Stop pressing C to crouch. I am a certified C to crouch person usually, so I'm adjusting to Z Z. A chopper brought them and then scooped it. Oh yeah, Agent Agri. Oh, the fire. Naturally, they pretended to be civilians. 
You rookies all think you know everything after a week of service. Yeah, yeah, I don't know shit, I know. This ain't my first stealthy rodeo, baby. Did anyone check the generators? Whose shift is it now? Well, I can't do anyway. In the scope, you can see them clearly from above. They finished his win and gone to prisoner. What's the point in actually going there? Oh, nice. It gives you the option for the lethal or the non-lethal kill. That man bounce. Uh, e to swap, R to take the ammo. Nice. I like that difference. That's... Oh, oh. Turn off, turn off. <laughs> turn off the light. Oh... Washington is all right. This is nuts. This changes everything. <gasps> sure, I guess they. I'll. I'll waste that throwable. Imagine if that actually made like noise that everyone could hear. It's like, what's that? Watch beeping. Hey. Oh, shit! <laughs> it just bounced me. Your character has such a, 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 a. Artyom is so light in this game. Have you noticed that? Like, he jumps higher than ever before. <laughs> he jumps higher than he ever has before, and. Oh my god, that is just hilarious. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, so when you're jumping to climb up things, just uh don't don't bounce yourself into everyone's field of view, huh? Just as an idea. And then it just what? What's that? Over there. Uh, Can we just talk about the fact that they have like they're blind? So, was there anything? Nothing. Oh. They were staring right at me for so long that I actually froze dead in my tracks and accepted defeat. They they did not look in before. I wonder what's better. Bullets flying? Or dying of boredom here. Weird. He did not look in there last time. Do they change their behavior on each time, maybe? It's not like the same behavior. The Northwest wasn't covered for days. Oh, so the Northwest was covered for days. So what were those signals about? What could you hear before German came back? Washington? Wild, okay. Nothing again. Ah, who could have guessed? It's for nothing. Okay, uh, let's try and not bounce onto the floor <laughs> this turn. This is great stealth navigation. I really like this. This is terrifying though. Sh maybe I should wait for him to not be here because I wonder if it'll make some noise. Attention! The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. <laughs> All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Attention! The jamming system is coming well back done. online. You're almost at the hangar. Smooth sailing from here. Uh, I believe I have a silencer on this, so I'm almost tempted to...
That is not silenced. For some reason, it, it genuinely looks like there was a silencer on the end from this angle. <laughs> All right, my pistol is silenced. I know that much. I know that my pistol is silenced. Don't turn your flashlight on either. They could notice. Okay, so here's something that's really nice, is the control for saving is F5. I've been pressing that the whole time and it doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work? Do you have to press another button with F F3 to make it work? Because that shouldn't be right. Oh, I, it's because I can't save right now. All right, never mind. I'm just stupid. Never mind. I cannot save right now. Let me put that back on what it is then. Silly, silly. Let's do that again. This gun looks like comically small. The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. The speaker is so much loud. The speaker voice is so much louder than all the other voices. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. All right. Well, we're not going to try and shoot out a light this time. Um, this pistol is so small. Oh man! Can I go in there? I wonder. I feel like the light is basically the game saying, yeah, yeah, don't do that. Don't go in there. I'm scared to be here. Um, the original game had a compass, but I guess I don't have my journal yet, right? So I'm not sure which direction I'm supposed to go in and just going to the hangar and I'm supposed to just know where that is. So why do you not have your uh, torchlight on there, sir? I'm just going to curve around in this general direction. That's a, not a ladder. Okay. Um... Probably not a good idea. Oh, that man's looking. Do you think, do, do you actually think that that, I th you know what? What if that green door is the way, is what we're supposed to do? Because uh, this is going to loop back around to where we came from. It feels like there's just multiple ways to stealth through an area. Because I remember that there is a, the gate down there that we could have stepped into this area. But we went up, up from above. So I actually think that bright green light communicates go this way ding 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 and we just have to be quick about it all right we're good i'm gonna yeah okay <laughs> i have realized my mistake real quick nice so i knew what i was doing uh same gun but with scope yeah. oh, i found the wipe button it's, it's the same as the gas mask button. You just have to, you press it instead of holding it. Yeah, baby. I can still wipe my face. Most integral part of Metro. Nice. Got stuff. Have loot. Will travel. Nice. Okay. Memo. To all personnel of the SHIELD project, special guard detail. In recent years, there's been a noticeable increase in the number of attempts to breach our defenses by spies and enemy agents belonging to previously uncommon demographics. Women, old people, teenagers. This serves to prove the utmost efficiency of the special details defense effort, leaving the enemies no chance of ever achieving their goals of mapping our defense perimeter and carrying out sabotage by employing standard tactics. For that reason, all members of Special Guard Detail personnel must carry out their duties responsibly and never falter in applying the special measures to any and all enemy agents detained. Remember, the enemy is resourceful and deceitful. The enemy is desperate enough as to throw the last reserves into battle. Still, the enemy resources are still vast, and a cornered rat is only more dangerous, the Defense Council. So these guys really just went, old women, 
and children are coming, and they're, and they're spies. Kill them. They certainly are not looking uh, to achieve any sort of peaceful <laughs> encounter here. So silly. Okay. Um, what is through this? Is this the way to go? Or is that door the way to go? I feel like the door is the most likely option to lead to a hangar. This might take me to... Oh, there's just another way. Oh! There was a smarter way to get inside without risking the light source. Clever. I really like that area, uh, how there are multiple ways to, to go through that. You can stealth from up above climbing on the pipes, or you can try and sneak past the people in the snowfield. Uh, that was that was awesome. interesting having having Anna with me uh Anna is so much more like engaged on the, on the comms channel of like telling me where to go helping me out sort of thing got my got my uh, eye in the sky group a report your status oh the, the, the speaker is so loud gotta tell me group D, continue patrolling the hangar Group A, they check the courtyard and generator room. Communications were lost there. The, the speaker voice is just so much louder than the people that are right in front of my face, which is kind of funny. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already, and I feel like shit. I should see the doctor. You should tell the major. It might be time. This is such an impressive looking room. Go outside and check. Fuck that. What if it's demons? I recently caught up noise about demons. When the demons are out, Group D, redeploy to the wind turbine zone. Uh -huh. You can sneak ahead. You don't need to fight those for change. Let's wait till they walk off. I repeat, Group D, redeploy to the wind turbine zone immediately. Group B is under heavy attack from watchmen. Yerbach. We're on high alert. Civilians aren't allowed to just walk around now. Now, does that mean you're going to ready the train for me? What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? You only had an outing plan for tomorrow, and it's bound to be cancelled now. Just stay put for now. We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. Ah, this is nice. <laughs> What's that? I'm, I'm in the darkness, sir. I'm in. I'm in the darkness. Oh, <laughs> I'm ra I'm rattling on my cage. At least it's not an enemy. Good enough in my book. <laughs> oh, punched him so hard his helmet came off. So. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. Are we doing a train breakout? This is amazing. Switch the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Dude, train escape. Oh, uh, the lights. Oh, are, are we in a forced a forced killing segment? Fuck it, I guess we are. Oh, I love that sound. I just let can I just let Anna do the killing for me, and then I don't have to kill anyone, right? Here, let me throw a distraction distracting can. All right, I'm going to let Anna do it. <laughs> you know what? It hasn't actually done any uh, flashes on my screen yet. 
from a from a moral perspective. Oh, she's prone? I can't prone. I can't do that. Why can't I do that? I want to be able to do that. This really is not uh, suitable for piercing armor at all, is it? I'll just shoot you in the arm. Sh shoot him in the arm. Alright, I might have to switch to an actual weapon at this point, because uh, this this one's this one's not helping me out. Alright. See, doesn't that look like it could be a silencer? Oh. Yep, that does the trick. It Anna can canonically prone and I cannot. I feel cheated. Come on, that's mom. We don't have all day. Anna's just like, please shut up. Stop complaining. <laughs> Artyom, we're running out of time. All right, bomb group to the hangar. I see the enemy. Oh. Shit, they're still in the fucking train. Oh, those are explosive. Oh, Jesus, watch out. All right. Oh, I felt like I did a front flip into my own legs. Don't let go, Artyom. <laughs> Bad husband award. That was intense. Are you okay? Yep. Couldn't even hold on to my wife. What kind of husband am I? Artyom. Oh. All right, wait. I'm gonna shot my wife in the head. Um, med med kit med kit is which button again? I'm in, I'm panicking because we're in combat. Uh, what's the what's the med kit button? Nice work, Anna. I'm gonna interrupt this to check my med kit button because it's not M because M is my my journal. <laughs> med kit is Q. Guards, get them. Uh, yeah. Can't even see. We got the I think I won. I got him. Let's do this together. Okay. Like a great married couple. Just a little. <sighs> this is absolutely amazing. Yes. Let's get the get let's get the fucking train! Get on the train! Come on! Artyom's in no hurry to get on this train, apparently. Yes! Come here! Quick! You're going to run the gate! You should put the masks on! The seals might be damaged! We did it! Yeah! I love the high fives. Loving the high fives. God, I got snow effects all in my face. Ah, oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hey, flash warning. Base, we apprehended the engineer with two accomplices. Over. Roger that, base. Over. All right, shoot these two. And as for the engineer, oh, what do you mean shoot these two? Don't you right dare give me a limp, soldier. Don't you dare. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Duke. Sir, we have a situation here. Oh. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What oh, the yeah. hell? Oh, guys, what are you doing here? Talk about Sir Colonel, Christ. this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't. Shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastard shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no down. Shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, them. I won't be quiet. 
What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead! All of them, women, children! I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. Right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you're misunderstanding. Well, at the I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. Alright, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mare. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Huh? Another train? Oh, look, look. Damn, they caught up. What in the world, dude? Stop the engine immediately and come out with your hands above your head. <laughs> This is in insanity. Look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said anything. Shit! They ah. were ah. Stop the engine immediately! Oh, fuck. Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh. okay, we are stopping. Uh. But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Yermak, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Yes, ah! Sir. Finally some good sense! Now, keep breaking to a stop! Well, grenades will barely scratch their paint, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir! I will be appointing the volunteers here. Artyom will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started it all, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. I can't believe what I'm playing right now. Oh my, this is insane. Hurry up! 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 Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I'm the only one after you've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement without life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! You don't know? Some assholes stole an engine of ours and are trying to escape Moscow. So we are after them. But they may have escaped with too. There's nothing wrong. Damn, you are green. There are lots of Dude, I can quick save. 
But those escorts seem to know enough. For you? Damn. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we talk about this? Because what the hell is going on? This is insane. Miller's had this information the whole time. And he, they've been working to keep it quiet. The story. Oh, it, ooh, this is cool. Uh, what I really, really uh, enjoy about Metro is that it's such a sleeper hit for me. It's like, I was like, oh, I was really interested in, in this series. And it's always been on my backlog to like check it out one day. And it, it finally comes onto the channel and I'm like super surprised very very surprised with I was like wow this game is immersive as hell and uh so much fun to play the story is incredible I love like the world building elements like I was just immersed straight away and enjoying it and then we get to last light and I'm like oh they've just taken that experience and just escalated it so much higher the story has so much more stakes it's got so much emotion charging in from the previous game and like the way that the characters all interact is awesome everything about it was uh, just incredible I loved the storyline and then i'm like wow i really hope that exodus is is a is a big step up like being like years later and more of like a, a recent release and i'm like i can't wait to see uh, uh what they've done with this one and it's spectacular like they've taken the story in a way that I never would have expected it to go. It's taken it like Artyom being on the surface, searching for that little spark of hope there. Absolutely a predictable notion that he would be doing this, especially with how last light ended. But everything else that has happened is just is, is mind blowing. Uh, I love this. It's so much fun to play. It feels great. The story is incredible. The characters look amazing. I love that Miller did not just like relegate himself to a like a desk job in the Metro after losing his legs. Dude was like, I'm getting legs again and we I'm getting into this mess. Incredible. The Commonwealth of the Stations of the Ring Line, Treasury to Lieutenant Colonel Tolbin, Special Mobile Strike Force, Commander. Colonel, I've confirmed the emergency remittance of 6,000 mil grade 7.62 rounds in 200 round belts as per the requisition form 764-35 you submitted, but I must remind you of the imminent consequences should this transaction not result in a resounding success. Your operations, although not devoid of certain flair and thus tending to be reviewed favorably, have been a consistent strain on our budget. The present remittance is an overdraft allowed only due to the credit of trust your record has granted you and will be scrutinized at, up at the nearest board board meeting. I hope you understand that this time you positively must produce a satisfactory return on this investment. Uh, signed Y. Voloshkovsky, treasurer. Something that I'm missing uh, from the previous games, however, is the lack of uh, Artyom's diary uh, and his own writings. At the moment, we are only in notes that we are we are finding and then postcards. And while that's cool, it gives us some lore about the world. Um, our character is a silent protagonist and therefore it was really nice to get an insight into his thoughts on what was going on outside of those you know loading screens which also we haven't gotten so far uh as as well it's all secret sure but they don't send officers to do cleanups alone what do you mean cleanups in dirty business that of men women mutant children but why would we? What? You think spies only come as handsome guys in tuxedos? These people can blend in, walk around without raising suspicion, and if they report back that we are still here, boom! There's another 10 megatons dropped on Moscow, and no missile shield to save us this time. But still, women and children. Hey, you never saw those kids, man. In this world, it is either us or them, and I am watching after my own. I guess. I've been trying to identify what the symbol is on the E the whole time, and I just realized that it's a fist. <laughs> that makes sense. I was like, what is it? I'm like, what does it look like? I hate him up! I hate him up! <laughs> oh, nice. M men get killed by uh, suffocating man. Or knocked out by suffocating man. <laughs> They were just having a little conversation. Interesting that they like straight up just gave up. Wasting time with the gas mask listening to conversations. Attention. 
dust can of Mirar Easy. We are slowing down, but the brakes on this thing are busted. Don't sweat it, Colonel. My people will help you handle it. Oh, uh, it's not looking good. All my work. On the count of three. We gotta help. I gotta help him out, right? Oh shit. Maybe not. Oh, I thought maybe I could like knock knock one of them out. Uh, all right, they're just gonna have to deal with uh, with that. It feels like either we kill these guys uh, all together to help them out, help out the people on the other side, or we just gotta let them go and f fly away with the distraction. I think the, just like, as much as the sound is mostly, mo, mo, uh, mostly good, I just think that uh, the, I do have the voice volume turned up more because uh, you need it to when you're recording, but the speaker, the voices that come over the speaker are so much louder than voices that come over, uh, uh, voices that come out naturally. And I think that might but it could potentially be the spatial audio. I put it on because I thought it would be a little more immersive. Um, but I'm not sure. So I might actually test it with it being uh, off. And we'll see how we go. Might be a little bit nicer. Head. Yes. Ah, oh, this is so good. Jumping out of the train, let's go! Oh no, there was a locker I could have. Uh... Oh my god. Oh, the emergency brake? Nice, clever. Oh, flawless move. RTM, no, you were so close to being like actually competent. <laughs> you always need saving, bud. Damn. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, that's young. Thank goodness you're okay. My wife. My loving Russian wife thinks I'm a hero. I've won. <sighs> but at what cost? Traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped a hundred oh. clicks from Moscow to yes. get their Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I am just waiting for answers. 
and hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. This was uh, incredible. What an intro, what an opening to the game. I, I have loved every single step from the beginning to uh the the beginning of this the beginning of the game to the beginning of this chapter like uh that was incredible i'm loving the new map as well uh having it sort of showing where we're i guess traveling out of the metro and even giving us dates uh as well which was really cool to see that 2035 in february and we're headed to a new location uh this is super exciting i'm having such a blast thank you so much for joining me for episode one of metro exodus i uh, hope you are looking forward to the rest of the playthrough uh if you have not watched them uh and you have just tuned in for this one i implore you do uh check out the metro 2033 and last light playthroughs of mine as well uh because so much fun and i'm very invested in the in the storyline and the characters and uh last light is is one of the best like gameplay experiences i've had in the past year uh and this game is just escalating that even further once again, uh, it's it's so much fun. So if you enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to more, please do consider subscribing to the channel as well because it helps me out tremendously. Uh, I also do have three days of early access as a thank you to my direct Patreon supporters as well, just if that's something that interests you. If you want to get your hands on the content before everyone else does, uh, that would be also uh, very much appreciate it keeps me doing this every single day for you guys so thank you so much for hanging out with me for episode one of metro exodus and i will see you next time